So in this video, we are going to learn how to write compelling product descriptions for e-commerce website. Now suppose guys, you own an e-commerce website and on a regular basis, you keep on adding new products and you want to create the description of those products as well. So guys, let me tell you, you can completely automate the process of generating the product description with the help of OpenAI, an artificial intelligence platform. So this automation is like whenever we are going to add a new row of data like the product name and category into a Google Sheet, this automation will trigger and then after getting these details, it will automatically create the product description from OpenAI and also automatically it is going to update the same product description into the same row of Google Sheet. Interesting, right? So in this way, you can completely automate the process of generating product description. Now how you can set up this automation? To know this, you have to come with me to my screen. So as you can see, here we are on Public Annex dashboard. Now to reach this dashboard, you will get a free sign up link of Public Connect in the description box below. By clicking on that link, you can create your free Public Connect account in just two minutes. And after reaching to this dashboard, just click on create workflow and give this workflow a name. For example, I would like to name this workflow as Google Sheets to open AI. And then just click on create. Now we can see that our workflow is open over here. And in this workflow, we have two different windows. First one is the trigger window and second one is the action window. So triggers and actions are basically those two concepts, those two principles on which this whole automation works on, where the trigger says when this happens and the action says do this. So let's begin with our trigger window. So the idea here is in our Google Sheet, we are adding the name and the category of the product in a new row. So we are going to set up an automation that whenever in a new row, we add the name on the category of the product, this data should be received inside public connect. Then using artificial intelligence platform like open AI, we are going to generate a product description for this particular product in this category. And then at last we are going to update that same product description, which we have generated using open AI back to the Google sheet in front of that same product name over here. So let's begin. Now in step one, we have to first get this data of a new row of new product name and category inside Public Connect. So here in trigger window in choose app, search for Google Sheets, select Google Sheets. And then in trigger event from the drop down, select new or updated spreadsheet row. After selecting a trigger event, Public Connect gave us a webhook URL. Now using this webhook URL, we are going to connect our Google Sheet with Public Connect. So how you can do that? You just have to follow the help text given below over here. Just copy this webhook URL from here and then just go to your Google Sheet. After reaching to your Google Sheet, just go to extensions, add-ons and click on get add-ons. After clicking on get add-ons, you will reach to Google Workspace Marketplace. And here in search app, we have to search for Public Connect Webhooks, P-A-B-B-L-Y, Public Connect Webhooks. And as you can see, Public Connect Webhooks, this add-on is already installed in my Google Sheet. You just have to install the same add-on into your own Google Sheet account. And after that, just refresh your Google Sheets once. This is a very important step. And after refreshing our Google Sheet, go to extensions, and this time we can see that Public Connect Webhooks, this add-on can be seen over here. Just hover on it and click on Initial Setup. Now, when we click on Initial Setup, this box appears in front of us. And it is basically asking us three different things. First one is the selected sheet. Second one is the webhook URL. And third thing is the trigger column. So in selected sheet, we have to select the sheet that from which sheet in this Google spreadsheet we want to send the data. So right now I have only one sheet in my Google sheet that is sheet one. So by default, it has selected sheet one. Now the next thing it asks us is the webhook URL. And here in webhook URL guys, we have to see paste the same webhook URL, which we have copied from Public Connect. Just copy it from here and paste it over here. And at last it is asking us for the trigger column. Now here in trigger column guys, we have to basically enter the last data entry column of our Google Sheet. So here guys, you will see column B is the last data entry column in which we are entering some data. So column B will be our trigger column and then click on send test. When we click on send test, it is showing us test data sent successfully. This means the data of the first row after the headers is been sent to public connect. So let's check it. We will go to a public connect workflow and yes guys, 
here you can see that we have received some response and in this response we can see all the details we have our trigger column our spreadsheet name then we have the responses from that sheet we have also have the row index we have the name of the product and the category which we have entered in our google sheet now this means the step one of setting up this automation is completed we have successfully connected our google sheet with public connect and receive the data, the product name and category from Google Sheet, which we are entering in our public connect workflow. After this, just click on submit. Then after submitting it, go to extensions, public connect webhooks. And here guys, we have to select another option that is named as send on event. By selecting send on event, we are telling this Google Sheet, we are telling this add on that whenever data in a new row is added till our trigger column, instantly, immediately send that same data to public connect. And after this, the connection is complete. So guys, now we have received the name of the product and category from Google Sheet. Now what we have to do using OpenAI, we have to generate a product description for this particular product in this category. So let's do it. Just scroll down, come to our action window and here in choose app, search for an OpenAI. Select it. And then an action event from the dropdown, select the action event as generate content. Click on connect and select add new connection. Now here guys, we have to connect our open AI account with Pavli connect. And to make this connection, we have to enter the API key of our open AI account. Now you must be thinking how we can get the API key. Now to get it, just go to your open AI account, just log in and on the right side, click on this profile option and click on view API key. After clicking on view API key, here you can see a list of all the API keys which you have created. Click on this create new secret key and this API key is generated. Copy this API key from here, go to Pavli Connect and paste it over here. And then just click on save. And when we click on save, we can see that our OpenAI account gets connected with Pavli Connect. After making this connection, the first thing it asks us is to select the AI model. So in the drop down below, we can see a list of different AI models, different AI engines out of which you can select the Text DaVinci 2 or Text DaVinci 3. These are the most common models. So I'm using Text DaVinci 3. Then it is asking us prompt. Now here you will be thinking, what is this prompt? So in this prompt section, guys, here we give the actual instructions to OpenAI that what kind of content we want to generate. So here we want to generate a product description. So I will be giving a prompt like, for example, generate a product description. for and here I'm going to map the name of the product and guys the process of mapping is very simple. So we have received the name of the product from this response of Google Sheet. In Google Sheet we have added the product name and category and we have received these details in public connect and from this trigger response we have to map this product name over here. Just click here and from the drop down you can see a list of all the responses which we have from Google Sheet. So from these responses select the response of product name and map it. So the text will be like generate a product description for blue microphone in and then from drop down I will be mapping the category in audio category. So this is the kind of description, this is the kind of prompt or guideline I want to give to OpenAI while generating the content. Instead of this, you can actually elaborate your prompt as well. Or what you can do, you can actually enter the complete prompt in your Google Sheet in the column as well and use that prompt over here. After entering a prompt, the, it is asking us maximum token. That what is the maximum number of tokens OpenUI can use while generating the content. So here guys, the maximum limit is 2048 that it can generate and the default value is 256. So for your example, I want the maximum token OpenAI to use is 500 tokens per prompt. Then it is asking me for the select sampling type. So there are two different types of sampling, temperature sampling and nuclear sampling. So it is basically depends on the randomness of the content. So for example, I want temperature sampling or nucleus. I will be selecting nucleus. Then it is asking a sampling value. So we have to enter a sampling value between zero to one. The default value is 0.7. So I will be just giving, going with the default value. Then it is asking me for the present penalty. So the present penalty ranges between minus two to two. So here the default value is zero. So for present penalty, frequency penalty and stop sequence. 
for all of these things i'm just going with the default value we have a separate dedicated video on how these things on openai actually works or if you can go you just can visit the openai just go to this playground section and here you can see all the references like what kind of engine you should use what is the temperature what is the maximum lens what is frequency penalty presence penalty and all of those things and at last here in public connect it is asking us best stop like for example from the drop down if i select three then using this automation open ai is going to generate three different content for this same prompt and it will give us the best one from the responses from all of the three so right now i just want to generate one if, but if you want you can change this number as well and after this just click on save and send test request when you click on save and send test request here we can see that we have received some response and in this response you can see that we have generated some product description so in this response of choice zero text you can see the same so here we have a response of product description that the blue microphone is the perfect choice for capturing crystal clear audio in any recording situation with its high quality construction and institute design this microphone is a must have for any audio enthusiast so in this way you can see that we have a complete description so guys the step two of setting up this automation is also completed so till now using this automation we have just entered the name of the product and category in our google sheet and using artificial intelligence platform like openai we have automatically generated the product description now after this what we have to do we just have to move to step three and we have to update this same product description which openai has generated in our google sheet in the same row now to do this just scroll down click on this add action step button and here in choose app search for google sheets select google sheets and then in action event from the drop down select the action event as update cell value after selecting our action event click on connect and select add new connection now here once again we have to connect our google sheets account with Pavli connect and this time to make the connection click on this sign in with google button select your google sheets account scroll down and click on continue and as we click on continue we will see our google sheets account will get connected with pavli connect after making this connection the first thing it asks us is to select the spreadsheet that in which spreadsheet we want to update this value and in the drop down below you can see a list of all the different spreadsheet which you have created in your google sheets account so out of all of these we want to update this data in the spreadsheet named as product details so from the drop down select this spreadsheet product details after selecting our spreadsheet it is asking us to select the sheet so as we all know this spreadsheet has only one sheet named as sheet one so we have selected it then it is asking us the range that we have to enter the range of the cell that in which cell we want to update this data so here guys we want to update this data this prompt or this basically product description over here in this cell who has a range c2 so the column is c and row is 2 but guys here you will notice that every new row of product name and category we add the row number will be keep on changing for the name or for the range basically so here guys the column name c is constant but here you will notice that the row number will be keep on changing so what we are going to do we are going to manually enter the column as column c or whatever column you have but in trigger response which we have received from google sheet we have also received the row index that in which row number we have this product name and category so from these responses we are going to map this same row index over here in this field of range just click here and from the drop down from google sheet responses select and map it over here and after entering the range the next thing it asks us is the value that what is the value what is the text we want to update in this cell so we want to update this response of the product description which we have received from openai so we have to basically map the same response over here just click on this field and from the drop down from openai responses select the response of the product description which we have received and map it over here and after mapping this just click on save and send test request now when we click on save and send test request here we will see that we have received some response and this is a positive response this response shows that the product description which we have mapped over here basically the description which we have generated using openai has been updated in our google sheet in the same row so let's check it we will go to google sheet and yes guys here you can see that the product description has been added and here it is the same product description which we have just now generated using openai now this means guys the automation workflow which we have created is working perfectly fine 
And using this automation, we just have to enter the name and the category of the product in our Google Sheet. And then automatically, using OpenAI, the product description will be generated and will be added in the same row in our Google Sheet itself. So after setting up this automation, let's test this automation once in real time. For example, I would like to add a product name as Titan Watch. And then the category is Watch. And just now in a Google Sheet, we have added a name of the product and a category. And we will see within seconds, the product description will be generated and will be updated in this same Google Sheet. And as you can see, it is done. So here we have a product description which says the Titan watch is a perfect addition to any wardrobe with a sleek and stylish design. So in this way, using OpenAI, we have generated a product description for the same product and category which we have entered. Now this means guys, the automation workflow which we have created in this video, we have tested this automation in real time and it is working perfectly fine. So not just these applications guys, you can connect plenty of other applications using Pabli Connect. And not just product description, instead of this, you can generate any kind of content automatically using this same automation workflow and open AI. And guys, also, you will find the clone link of the same workflow in the description box below. So by clicking on that link, you can actually clone the same workflow into your own Pabli Connect account and use this workflow for free. Also, let me tell you, Pabli Connect offers you a free plan. And in this plan, you will get some free tasks every month into your own Pabli Connect account. So if you want to try and test this automation, you can do it for absolutely free. If you have any kind of doubts or queries, you can post them on forum.pabli.com. So if this video was helpful to you, you can obviously like this video, comment down to your suggestions, and don't forget to share it with others. So guys, that's it for today's video. Thank you. Have a great day.